Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dick Coffin here on the Total D-Bash channel, along with uh, Caleb. Yo! And Edible Napalm. Hi. <coughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much the intro, Matt. All I need is just him trying to speak whilst coughing through his his, his, his PCP-induced... Matt is on PCP. What are you... What, what, what are you coughing from? What, what do you think? I don't fucking know. I don't smoke. You said you weren't high on anything. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting high now. I don't smoke or drink. I can't because of my I've smoked, I've smoked for I've smoked for nearly fucking 20 years and I don't cough like you. Since I'm a man, men cough, cough on. Oh, do they? My one name's Cop. My name's Coughlin. So that. <laughs> so, so fuck you. I, can't, I don't have to. I cough every time I say my last name, and I say it a lot. So. Right. Well, let's move on from that. We are here to do our predictions video for SummerSlam, and uh, we're just going to start from the bottom, work our way up. So, um, possibly the, di the the most disappointing potential match of the night, Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins in a Lumberjack match. Yeah. Okay. Caleb, do you want to go first? Um, Quick question, sorry. What's up? <laughs> Who, who's going to be the Lumberjacks? It's going to be like Zack Ryder and Big E and all the black people. Right? As basically, wow. It's going to be all the people who aren't on the card, which is just... So... You're, you're, so, like, it's not stacked against Ambrose? Well, who can they have, really? I mean, it's going to be mixed baby faces, and it's generally mixed baby faces, and it'll be Titus O'Neil, Kofi Kingston, um, probably Mark Henry, big, like I said, it'll be all the black people who aren't on the bill, probably, and, and Big Show, maybe. But I don't think they'll have it, like, they, they generally don't, he, I, don't think, I don't think he gets to pick the lumberjacks, so it'll probably be like ten guys. It's just well, yeah, Kane's like Kane won't his. be in it. Kane, Kane won't. Yeah, be in it. I was like, yeah, they could have Kane. Good. Yeah, Kane, but, like he's not a one. Right, well, what, what was your prediction, Kane? Which is why I, I don't know why I'm not seeing start. Orton either oh. on the card Look, anywhere. He's playing the Orton race. number seven, Matt. He's fighting he Rangey. <laughs> oh, there, yeah, okay, never mind. Matt, oh, can, we, can we keep with this? Because like, we're limited with time. So, Caleb's. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying. Um, I want to say Dean Ambrose, because uh, I see the, because Dean Ambrose is the face in this, but... Yeah. Uh, fuck, I'm just going to go with the safe pick, Dean Ambrose. Uh, so I'm going to go with Dean Ambrose too because I think they'll carry this on because this has got legs, this one, and they're going to probably keep it going until like Seth Rollins about <laughs> ultimately. But I can see this building to something like maybe even Hell in a Cell. Like fuck it, I'm going to go with, with with Rollins. Okay, Matt's going but, with Rollins, but he's not going to win clean. Like, he's not going to win. Gonna happen. Clean. Yeah, I can see that. Can you, can you get disqualified in a lumberjack match? Can you? Um, I don't think nope. you can. So, no, so you can't, when it, but so I can totally see, like, Triple H coming down and basically be like, fuck, get out of my way, everybody, and, you know, he beats the shit out of fucking Ambrose. Yeah, see, I, I, can see I, that. I, I don't think that's going to happen, because I think if, if, if Triple H is going to interfere in any match, it would be it would be Brie Bella and Stephanie McMahon. Or, oh, yeah. Or, or, he, or, 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 or I, I can't see him interfering in Randy Orton and Roman Reigns either. It would probably be Brie Bella, Stephanie McMahon, all being involved somehow in the decision at the end in some way with the Cena Lesnar thing. But I just think so, they're going to do it because hey, it hey, seems hey, like... Hey, whoever's making the notes, Caleb, you make the notes of this one. Uh, Matt's gone for Rollins. Okay, the next one. Uh, uh, Miz versus Dolph Ziggler for the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, Matt. Yes. I'm just, uh, probably Ziggler, I, I'll be honest. It's, it's no, one, no one cares? It's like nobody cares about the Miz. I, I'm, I'm, I going mean, to, I'm going for Ziggler as well. You know. I mean, maybe they could give it to Miz. Who has the U.S. belt right now? Sheamus, but he's he's off doing, he's apparently going to be Darth Vader. Really? 
Well, okay, not the voice, but the fucking... No, obviously not the voice. I mean, you're not going to get Darth Vader bro-kicking. <laughs> that would be so hilarious. <laughs> if, like, they make a new special edition and, and he just bro-kicks Luke, Luke off of Cloud Vespa. He's like, I'm your dad, bitch. Phone 0800 fella. <laughs> fucking... But, yeah, okay. like... I mean, maybe they... I can see maybe they give it to Miz because... You know, maybe they want to heal with a with a belt, but like I think Ziggler is a safe pick. Here. Okay, but I mean, Sheamus isn't fighting tonight, so yeah. So Ziggler, I'm going with Ziggler too. Kalens, Kalens, is he gone? I think he might be muted, Kalens. I'm muted. Kalens, can't be gone because like he, he's he's posting the call. Yeah. So he can't, like, he might have stepped away. He might this is the be. level of professionalism we have here. And, um, oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. So, sorry, I had, I had a call. All right, so, yeah, so, so what, give us your quick, quick prediction on Ms. Ziegler. Uh, that is the most uninteresting match ever. And it's oh, wait, really Ziegler already has match. the belt. Championship. Um, Ziegler, because the Miz is, it seems like they want to do things with Ziegler. I don't know why. He's, a dis he's, just a, he's just doing a discount Hollywood rock thing, isn't he, Biz? Yeah. So, so yeah, you're going to go with Ziggler? I'm oh, sorry. You're going to go with Ziggler? Yeah, I'm going with Ziggler, because... Okay. Who's going with um the other two? Like, what are you, do what are you guys doing? We we we're going with Ziggler as well. All right. Because it just makes sense to get... Everyone wants, everyone wants Ziggler to win something. And, um... Okay, next Even one. people who hate him, like me, I just yeah. want him to win something so people will fucking shut up about him. Okay, so next one. Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns. Uh, I'm going to go uh, straight forward this one. I think it will be... I, I, I think it's a bit like a... It might be a long match, probably 10 minutes, because I don't think you can get much out of Reigns at the moment uh, beyond 10 minutes. He's got a bit of a Goldberg thing going on. Um... Uh, so I think I think uh, I think Reigns wins this one. Yeah, he, I mean he's Orton. <laughs> Orton's just there to kind of build up new talent anyway. So yeah, yeah. I can see again Reigns going to, like, towards Hell in the Cell. What is that noise? I can see Reigns going towards like you know Trace Triple H in a, in, after this to some. Yeah, Orton's like Triple H's dragon. Or you know, it's funny yeah. too. Everybody predicted, like, every wrestling website predicted, like, this is going to be the main event at SummerSlam this year. Nope. Roman Reigns versus Triple H. Yeah, but I remember at the start, everyone was saying it was going to be, it was going to be Lesnar versus Cesaro. Yeah. Uh, then, it, then it was going to be, then it was, was going to be, and it would have been, Daniel Bryan versus Lesnar, uh, which would have been a much more interesting match then, but we've obviously got to go. But anyway... Next one. Uh, first of two Divas matches, AJ Lee versus Paige. Okay, let's... Uh, can I flip a coin? No, I'm just joking. Uh, AJ Lee. I forgot who AJ Lee was, actually. <laughs> you know, it's, Mrs. Mrs. Phil Brooks. The, uh, for Mrs. Phil Brooks, walking dead enthusiast. Um... Okay, okay, her. Um, I, I I know this is unprofessional, but, like, there are only a few divas that I care. Like, Paige, Paige is, like, an interesting diva that I care about. And there are, like, a few others, like the crazy-ass black chick whose name escapes me. But she, she, she hasn't done, they haven't done anything with her for ages, have they? They've sort yeah. of given up on her. Which is sad, because, like, she has some weird chemistry with Paige. Yeah. But, like, AJ Lee is just, she's so just bland. I can see this being a draw, actually, because I can't see, I can't see, uh, or I can see maybe, I'm going to go with a draw on this one, because I, I, I can't see who either of them can face following this. And if yeah. AJ Lee wins then that's really, then maybe they can carry it on. But if, um, I could see Paige, but I'm going to go over draw on this one, if this one, like, carries on. I'm going to I did, I'm oh, sorry. I'm going to go with AJ Lee, because I see them trying to make some sort of feud between them. 
I did flip a coin, and I got Paige. Okay. So Matt's gone with Paige, Cadence has gone with AJ, I've gone with the draw. There we go. Can't get more. Okay, in the, in, in, in the, in the, I, I only just found out this morning what this match entails. In a flag match, uh, Jack Swagger versus Rusev. What? In a flag match. The idea is you have the flags are on either side of the ring on a pole. It's a flag on a pole match. What is this? Uh, wait, wait, what is this, the fucking 80s? Why are we having fucking flag matches now? I didn't even uh, know what a flag match was till this morning. I don't even know what this, is, this is the shit they did in the fucking 80s. This, we're not in... We ain't fucking... Right, right now, a lot of people... What? Right now, a lot of people are thinking, are thinking the main reason they're doing this shit with Rusev is because... Because Vince just wants, like, some kind of uh, publicity for WWE right now. And he doesn't yeah. care. So he's, he's kind of, like... And, you know, it's, it's a proud tradition in WWE to take, you know, topical terrorist or, or war things yeah. and turn it into wrestling shit. But who's going to win? Um... You see, if, if, Jack, if, Jack Swagger, if Jack Swagger loses this, then that's pretty much the food feud over, and it's pretty much it over for Jack Swagger, isn't it? I mean, once this is once Jack Swagger's done, done. You know, I mean, with this, I mean, who's who's he was irrelevant before going up against Rusev, and now and now it's going to be it. So I'm going to go Rusev to win, and then Flagger, Flagger, Swagger, <laughs> Swagger to. Swagger to drop off into insignificance. Um, but I'm going for Rusev in this one. Okay, so I'm going to go with Rusev because this is still a somewhat topical issue. I'm well, it is a pr- Rusev. I, I, des- I despise Rusev, so and I'm going to go with Swagger because, like, this is still a topical issue. So if they have Swagger win and defeat Rusev, they can still keep playing on this whole, like, Crimea, Russian, Russian thing. Yeah, yeah. maybe bring in some other vaguely Russian, European guy. Maybe bring in a guy, maybe bring in somebody from Uzbekistan. Like, this is so fucking, like, this is so fucking perfect, because what you have here is... They have, like, an evil Russian union. Exactly, of exactly. What you have here is a situation in which they can continuously play off this whole Russian thing, because... Like, to this day, we still get information about Russia and the shit that just keeps going on down there. <laughs> so you're going with Rusev to win? Yes. Um, okay. I'm going with Swagger to win. And you're going with Swagger to win? Yeah. So Rusev gets his first defeat from Jack Swagger. So, Napalm, you're going with Swagger? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I will never pick Rusev. I don't care. Okay. How I'm going, I'm going. It makes me lose. Okay, I'm going, well, I'm going with Rusev on that one. Right, next one. Brie Bella versus Stephanie McMahon. Uh, it's going to be, this is going to be interesting, I think. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Stephanie McMahon because it just, it's, it, 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 it just, it, something, there's going to be some shenanigans in this match. Yeah, she's and, nice. Yeah, there's going to be, there's going to be some shenanigans going on. But it's even a case of like, it's even a case of even when they lose, with it, it's like even when Vince lost, he always ended up winning uh, <laughs> somehow. But I mean, I, I, I'm going to go with Stephanie McMahon to win it. But then, and the thing is, it's like, but then part of me thinks, like, well, if Brie Bella wins, then she's, like, going to be, like, they're going to have another top diva there, because the diva thing, is, division is a little bit, is, is a little stale. bit sort of st- st- Yeah, it's a bit stale at the moment. Uh, so I think, you know, personally, I'm going to, I, I, I go with, uh, but I'm going to go with Stephanie just to, but Stephanie in some, everyone's talking about maybe Nikki Bella turning heel. I don't know about that, because I don't know how total divas would work. Um, yeah, if Nikki Bella just... I mean, I guess, isn't Total Divas sort of not... It, it isn't really kayfabe anyway, right? So they could have them both... They yeah, could have... It's like six months afterwards. Yeah, Nikki, Nikki Bella could have it as, um... She could be a heel, and Brie could be a face, and it could still work, because it's just... They're not pretending or anything like that. I could totally see WWE being like, fuck it, they won't remember this shit. Six I mean, I mean... It's not. It's not like pretend anymore, and you know WCW acknowledges. This yeah, but I think there's. I think there's a limit to like. Is, there's there's a line of how much kayfabe you're gonna break, 
isn't there? Because there's a, I think there's a sort of, even though you can break kayfabe quite, quite a lot, there's still a certain it's weird. Limit to, yeah, there's a limit to how, how weird it is having a having a a reality show where they are sort of portraying this. They, they had a thing on Daniel Bryan when he, he after WrestleMania on the network, and it was like a little short documentary about like the days leading up to his. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it was quite good. Though. Like, yeah. yeah, it was good, but like they when they were doing the backstage interviews and shit, like it, they, they completely broke. The only fucking person who was in kayfabe was Miz. That's because that's who Miz is. That's his fucking personality, yeah. I'll be right back. Oh, great. Matt's just gone. Brilliant. So, oh, I don't even get his project. Okay, so who are you going with, Kayla? Um, let me see. I'm going with Stephanie because even though you and, uh, I think Liam both disagreed with me on this, I still see Stephanie as, uh, Vince. I think that's who, yeah. that's who she is. No, no, I'd agree, I'd agree, I'd agree with that to an extent. Uh, and I think, like Vince, a part of me is like... I see, I, I see Stephanie and Triple H both as Vince, as like they're two people combined. As I, could, I could see that. Part of me thinks that, like, it can go either way, because if she go, if she's, um... If she, if she loses, like you said, she still wins. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to go with Stephanie. Okay, I'm going with Stephanie too. I don't know who Matt's going with. We'll get that when he gets back. Okay, uh... Okay, this is going to be a quick one. Bray Wyatt versus Chris Jericho, Eric Rowan, and Luke Harper banned from ringside. It's going to be Bray Wyatt. Yeah. Wait, really? I thought, okay, so I thought the whole gimmick with Bray Wyatt was that um, he was weak alone. Yeah, but I mean, uh, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper were banned from ringside. Basically, Chris Jericho had had, had um, fought both of them uh, in... in, in, uh, in one, he fought Luke Harper on Raw and Eric Rowan on SmackDown, and if he, the rule was if he beat both of them, then they would be banned from ringside at his thing. But I think they need to make Bray Wyatt look stronger because they might be looking. To, they've been together a year now, so they could be looking to uh, split them up anytime soon. That's true, but then I thought the whole allure of Bray was that he was like a, a cult leader and. Yeah. But I mean that's that's why this makes that mo- make this a bit more interesting. I think because they're saying, well, if you're banned from, you broke up. You broke up. You're not going to have Bray Wyatt. Sorry. You you broke up when you said if they're banned from, then you just broke up. It, I'll say if they're banned from ringside, then they're going to be, you know, um, you know, you, you, it's going to make it more interesting as a match to see. But you can't have Chris Jericho beat him twice in a row. Hmm. Okay. You know, yeah, that, yeah, that actually, Coughlin, you did swing me. Fuck it. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with. And plus, and plus, next week, Nick. Hello? Coughlin broke up again. You broke up again. You said, and blah, Hello? Next. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I'd imagine you'd have, you'd have Chris Jericho Bray Wyatt again at the next pay-per-view. Yeah. Uh, and then that would be Bray Wyatt wins that one. So, yeah, so Matt, Bray Wyatt, yes. Chris Jericho. Also, um, Brie Bella versus Stephanie McMahon. Yeah, we need to just give us your answers quick. I guess, uh, well, with, uh, I, I'm going Stephanie, and I guess I'll go Bray. Like, okay. Okay, that brings us on to the main event, wait, which is... You, you, wait, are you going with Bree or Stephanie? Because you said, I guess I'll go I'm, Stephanie. I'm going with Stephanie. I'm, going with, I'm Stephanie. going with Stephanie, and then I'm going with Bray. You know what, fuck, huh. I'm going with Bree, actually. Brie Bella. Brie Bella. Brie yeah, Bree Bre- okay. and Bray. Bree and Bray. Yeah, so okay. no one's going with Chris Jericho. That's funny. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, and the final one, John Cena versus Brock Lesnar for the World Heavyweight Championship. We still need to do Cesaro. Oh, wait, sorry. Okay, Cesaro, Rob Van Dam. I'm going to go with Rob Van Dam because Rob Van Dam's probably going to be leaving. And this will be... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that one. I'm going yeah, go with Cesaro because... It's Cesaro. He's been losing a lot, though. I know, and it fucking... Hey, hey, Matt, Matt. Like, look, I'm not saying he's getting buried. I'm not one of those assholes. It's just like, he's just losing to everybody. How do I feel about Randy now? How, like, he just can't get a fucking break anymore? But Randy at least has had, like, the main title and shit. Yeah, but Cesaro, uh, look at it this way. Cesaro isn't being buried. He's on hold. He's just on hold. Once Swagger goes away... And you've got Rob Van Dam's gone away. Alberto Del Rio's gone away. 
Chris Jericho is going to go away. They're going to need someone to fill fill the gap in. True. I'm just like they could give them a win or, or, or two every so often. Yeah, but they got they, yeah, but they're pushing other people at the moment. You know. I like the fact that they're pushing other people because then we can have like a whole roster of stars. Hopefully, one day those people are black, so it's not just a bunch of white people. But whatever. The thing with Cesaro that annoys me, it's not like he's been losing to people that aren't being really pushed. Like Rob Van Dam, he doesn't need a push. He's fucking Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam's about to leave, though, Matt. Yeah, they'll give him. They'll give him. They'll better. Like, it's better to go out on your fucking back. Yeah, but he's not leaving, leaving. He's just leaving for a while. And then he coming, he'll come back. I'll be honest, he should leave forever because he... he, he was okay, honest. Matt, Matt, the, the, the three-star frog splash is not... No. It's not even it's a three-star. Three it's a three-star frog splash. <laughs> yeah, because I've been saying, like, every time he comes back, he, 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 he loses a star on it. And right now, it's... I'll be honest. Now it's like a two and a half star frog right. splash. Well, pick your winner then. We got like a few minutes left. Cesaro. Cesaro. I'm going with Rob Van Dam. And then I'm going with Lesnar for because they're, they're going to get. See, but what if? But what if though? What if? Because like you get the, you do have this thing in there. There is still this thing. Everyone, it's, it's still John Cena, isn't it? So everyone's confident that Lesnar's going to win. Yeah. It's still, and everyone's so confident. But it makes me think that they might they just swerve. they might just swerve it and go with John Cena because you have still got this problem where Lesnar, how long is he going to have the title for? Because like, he's uh, not going to be yeah, cause, but he's not going to be around. You well, know what I mean? He's not, I think he has signed a longer term contract this time around. Yeah, but has he signed one a more full time contract? I don't know. I think he's. I think he's signed like a year, a year contract or something. The the thing is though that Lesnar doesn't even want to be here. So I mean, he has nowhere else to go though. Like, I mean, he's maybe back to the UFC. He maybe back like, to football. Maybe, but he makes so much goddamn money that he, he may can't not be a commentator care. on anything. Like, yeah, but he's not good. We don't need to worry about what he's going to do. I mean, he's like my point is he might have signed another year long contract, but is it a more full time one? Yeah, cause, and like I said, he doesn't really need to be here if he makes money anyway, so he may not even have signed a full year I mean, track. He's already fought at WrestleMania. He's now fighting at SummerSlam. That means you've got one more one more pay-per-view out of Brock Lesnar before WrestleMania. Which means that if he fought, unless he's going to fight at Night of Champions and lose the title right away, then... I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar, but all I'm saying is, I'm not 100% confident that it's... Okay. Okay, so, who's doing what? Right away. I'm, I'm going with Brock Lesnar. Okay. I'm going with Brock Lesnar, too, because I see this as a good way to, you know, okay, we, put, we you know, we, we keep some of that Undertaker momentum going. We we or we knock John Cena down a bit. That'll fucking keep people happy. You know what else is a good way to do? It? It's a good way to have a match at Night of Champions with Cena. Have Cena win the title back, and then he's equal to Ric Flair. And then we can watch the internet explode. Maybe that's the plan. I'm going to go with Cena. Actually, you're going with Cena. I'm see, going I, with I don't Cena. think that's a bit. See, everyone's saying Lesnar, but I don't think Cena's a bad pick because I can honestly see them. Alright, so, so, okay, so, tell, alright. I think that's it, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, okay, so, what? um, before we do this, I'm gonna count everything, I'm gonna, like, call out what everybody's doing, and, alright, so, AJ Lee, I'm going with her, Matt's going with Paige, Coughlin, it's a draw, everyone's going, and Orton versus Romans, uh, Roman Reigns, everyone's going with Roman, Jack Swagger versus Rusev. That's Coughlin, and uh, Coughlin is going with Rusev. Matt and I are going with Swagger. Yeah. Brie Bella versus Stephanie McMahon. That's you and I are going with Stephanie. Matt's going with Brie. Bryant versus Chris Jericho. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all three of us are going with Bryant. Yeah. Uh, I'm Wyatt. Bryant. <laughs> Rob Van Dam versus Cesaro. Matt's in love with Cesaro, so he'll always go with Cesaro. Yeah. 
Rob, uh, Coughlin and I are going uh, Rob Van Dam. If somebody else could pick up a motherfucker and then uppercut him, I'd like them equally. Okay. John Cena versus... I'm not being unfair here. I'm just saying, like, that I shit is the, the most you, impressive fucking thing way, I've ever seen. I just love the way Taylor's went, okay. Is it like when you're talking to a special needs person? <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> John Cena versus I'm just trying to get this shit done because we have a very small amount of time John Cena versus Brock Lesnar I'm going with Cena and you and uh, Matt are going with uh, Kaufman and Matt are going with the safe picks yeah. which is Brock Lesnar alright okay. well that's it from us and I uh, hope you enjoy SummerSlam I know we will and we'll see you next time